Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly love reading for October 2021. Before I start, I'd like to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel. For those of you who've liked, shared and commented, thank you all so much. And for those of you who have been booking private readings with me, thank you for choosing me to be part of your story and part of your journey. Yes, and happy birthday, Libra. And um, I hope you have a, a wonderful new year. And I've changed the spread uh, for this month and one card for um, each week. So let's start. Yes, this is for both couples and singles. Okay, sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. Okay. So Oracle was going to be the main energy or the theme for Libra in the month of October. I feel drawn to this one. Is it the one? Yes, it's just the one. Okay, so Tarot and Universe, please tell us what is coming for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs, couple or single. For the month of October. What's your love life going to be like? Okay. Okay, week one. Week two. Week three. Okay, now week four. Okay, so the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands. Okay. So the main theme says higher ground. Okay. Higher ground, Libra. You've got number 20. So I feel... You'll be wanting to um, make things more <laughs> um, amicable and more um, beautiful and more, um, yeah, two. You know, you want to balance things out. There's this two. So there's going to be more tender, more nurturing. And it says higher ground. So I feel that whatever the situation is, you are going to um, perhaps <laughs> be the bearer of your partner or something. Okay, let's see what is going on. Week one, you've got the four of... Well, week one, you've got the four of pentacles. Week two... You've got the Seven of Cups. Week three, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. And week four, you've got a Death card. So, well, as we see here, we've got the Ten of Wands here. So, I feel for some of you, in October, Libra, some of you are going to take the burden onto yourself too. Because I feel whatever burden you're going to take, it will be a burden from your partner. If you are in a relationship, okay? I feel you'll be carrying their burden for them, whatever it is. I feel more drawn to the fact that this person is looking somewhere else, okay? And I feel it's like, look, I'm doing this for you, okay? I'm doing this for you because it, it goes with the higher ground. Here, I feel you will be taking on the, the burden, the responsibility. Um, yes, 
and something that is not right, that is not fair, that is not, you know, going the way it's supposed to go, I feel you are going to um, fight for your your partner or you are going to take the burden onto yourself to do something for them because this is Saturn in Sagittarius. So because it's Saturn is, and also it is Sagittarius, so that is still Jupiter and Saturn. So it has something to do with law, something to do with fairness, something to do with justice. So something that, you know, resonates with yourself, Libra. So I feel this is you taking someone else's burden, which is your person's burden, and you are carrying it on your back. And you're like, I'm going to let you be free of this. I'm going to get this done for you. I know what to say. I know how to do all these things. Just let me do it for you. That's how I feel it's here. Okay. That's how I see it here. And the first week we've got the four of pentacles. And having this four of pentacles, like I said, I feel Libra, you know, especially those who are in a relationship, I feel you would take matters to yourself. Look, just leave it to me. I'm going to do things my way. This is how, this is the best way to do it. And this is how I'm going to do it. And um, perhaps, you're, you know, the person you are dating, your person may be like, no, it's not, how it's, 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 it's not done that way. But that is how I see it. I feel you are taking something well, practical, practicality into your hands. Okay, I don't feel this has anything to do with finances in terms of your love life because the theme is higher ground. So I feel here that um, whatever your person or your partner needs, you are going to take on everything, the practical matters into your own hands, literally. You're going to do whatever you feel it takes to relieve them of this burden that they have. It could be too many responsibilities on them with this um, with this 10 of um, wands here. could be too many responsibilities on them and you want to take it off. That's how I'm seeing it here. So um, in the first week, I feel they will see you as perhaps, you know, um, you are maybe the thing you have to let things go and you're like no i'm not going to let it go it's not going to go i'm going to do it this way <laughs> i'm going to do it this way i'm going to do it practically this is how i need to do whatever action you need to take you will you will take it you know you are going to look at things from a higher perspective higher ground and you are going to get it done and i feel this is beautiful so if you've been you are a single person. I feel for those of you who are single, not in a relationship, I personally don't feel like you will be um, thinking too much of being in a relationship. However, I feel for those of you who are single, you may be more um, focused on work. Okay. You may be more focused on work. That is how I'm seeing it. But for those of you who are in a relationship, I feel that this is how you are going to do it. You're going to make sure your partner is you know is feeling better about themselves about whatever situation it could be a personal situation that they have and you are you've taken it upon yourself in the second week you've got a seven of cups okay so you've got um yeah seven of cups here yeah? and you have to be looking at how you are going to um speak express yourself i feel here that this will be something between you and your partner that you will have to decide what is, is best to do. Okay. Whether um, you are going to start afresh, whether you are going to um, continue as you are going, I feel that it's going to be an emotional um, second week. Okay. Because although this is a, a cup card, I'm drawn to the water, you know, the one with the water drops. That's the one I'm drawn to the most. So I feel like emotions is going to be very, very high. And, you know, um, I feel that, you know, Libra, you are going to put yourself in um, 
a situation that you you feel the need to be of service to your person okay you'll be looking at all these things whether you are discussing it or you are thinking about it i feel that it you feel the need to to get things done because there'll be so many things to be done but i feel like week one you definitely think i need to take things into my hands or else this can affect our own relationship and here in the third week we see the knight of pentacles okay this knight of pentacles makes me feel that especially for those of you who are single i feel you'd be more you know interested in work however in the third week i feel you'll be meeting um a potential partner a potential partner who is going to be trustworthy okay someone who's going to be absolutely solid for you this person you will certainly meet through work okay that is how i'm seeing it you see you meet him through work him or her <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying him um you meet them through work there's a higher possibility okay and you could be working online wherever you are working i feel like because this is virgo energy virgo and leo energy and i feel that definitely it has something to do with work okay and for those of you who are already in a relationship i feel in the third week things will start to um manifest itself you know any difficulties that you are having it will start to manifest the positive the positive things that's what i'm trying to say will start to manifest itself and moving on to the fourth week we see that there's a transformation and i feel this a positive transformation because um because why not yeah because towards the end of the month of course it's going to um go into scorpio season so libra i feel that you know this is um this is good for you okay this i feel your relationship is going to be transformed Yes, your relationship with your person is going to transform for for the better. It's taking you both to the higher ground. Yes. So I feel that yes, you taking this situation upon yourself is going to bring this positive um change. Okay? And so um don't give up. if you are single in the fourth week i feel like you are certainly going to meet someone that you are going to have a strong bond with okay so um yeah if you've been in the third week things have not gone according to plan in the fourth week here we are we are seeing that there's going to be a proper proper change for you okay and it's going to change for the long term for the better so libra i hope this has been insightful i will leave the reading here i will see you next month or you will see me next month